Airline Manager 4, How to Play. I've been playing for six months. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to uh, purchase aircraft. Obviously, you're going to have one starter airplane when you start the game. You go to the order button. I've already got the maximum number. And you're going to purchase one of the aircraft. You want to get something that has a lot of passengers uh, for a price that you can afford. Once you have your aircraft, you need to buy fuel and optionally CO2 quotas. CO2 quotas, you only need it if you do marketing. If you don't do marketing, don't worry about it. So you purchase your fuel, and when you buy fuel, this is for all of your aircraft. This is your total fuel storage. You don't, you don't buy for each individual flight. When each plane departs, it's going to deduct from your total fuel capacity. And when you have your fuel, you have your aircraft, there is a route button. And this is where you pick where you're going to fly to. The suggested routes waste the time. They do not pick the best routes. They just randomly pick routes. So... You pick where you're going to go to. You want to pick something that uh, is far away. Like if you pick something that's in the middle, you get a reduced range and you make less money. You pick something as far away as possible. You hit the stop over button. Unless you're planning on doing short flights, which can make you more money. And then you hit next. And it's going to show you the um, the demand. And then you hit the auto price button, you can adjust the prices. It will reduce the number of passengers you fly. And that will show you the distance, the time, etc. The fee for creating it, you hit the create button, and then you'll be able to fly the plane on that route, and then it will make a return trip. You do have to check the demand. This is demand for the destination. You have to check the demand where you're flying from. Because if you have too many seats, they won't fill the seats. When the planes depart, there's a schedule that's right over here that shows all the planes that departed. The plane that departed most recently is here at the top. When your plans have when your planes have landed, you purchase a plane that's going to show up as parked. You you put the route in. And then it will show up over here once it's ready to fly and has made its first flight. And you hit the depart button to send the plane on its route. Or you can depart many planes using this button, which is what I always do. I always use the one to depart many planes. But I also used up all of my fuel because my planes use a lot of fuel. So I have to repurchase my fuel and then I'm going to depart more planes and I'm going to repurchase fuel usually have you know I've got uh, about 250 planes so it can take a while it's not that long to depart all my planes and I'm going to do one more Fuel's at a good price, so I want to make sure I fill up. After you depart, you're going to want to do your maintenance. Don't do it before you depart. And the reason why is because when you do your maintenance, they're going to land, and then they're going to do their maintenance. Hopefully, it's going to happen while you're asleep. They need to be in the air in order for you to make money. So you want them flying when you're awake and departing planes. Let them do the repairs while you're asleep. I'm going to repair these two because they're scheduled to have the uh, A check, the aircraft check done. And this is the schedule right here. And I am going to do a bulk repair. Everything greater than 10%. There's only one aircraft. And we'll get that one repaired repaired. So other aspects to the game is marketing will earn you more money per flight. The stock market, 
You can invest in other companies. You can sell shares in your company. You can purchase multiple hubs. Each hub can have catering and a lounge. The catering is for the passengers on the plane when the plane departs. <clears throat> just done for fun. The stock market's just for fun. Catering is just for fun. <coughs> the lounge is just for fun. The core aspect of the game is buying planes, configuring the seat layout or the cargo layout, departing the planes, picking the routes. That's the basics of the game. Picking where they're going to fly to. You can either do it using the research tool, which is does exactly what you need it to do. It tells you uh, based on passengers, distance, how much cargo, etc. So that's the way the game works. If you don't like the way it's going, you can restart the game. <coughs> you see over here it says reset account. Completely resets everything, except for maybe your username. So that's, oh, I didn't know there was a chat window. So that's the way it is. That's the game. And uh, it's a management game. It's a type of game where you can play it. You spend like 15 minutes and then you go and do your work for a couple hours. Then you check in for 15 minutes. You do your work for a couple hours. I would check in like four times a day with long range flights. If you got short range flights, you're going to check like once an hour. You can play on your cell phone. I think there's a web version. I play the PC version. Okay, so that's how you play Airline Manager 4.